Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, and today I got the question, what render settings do I use on Sony Vegas? And, well, I've actually been experimenting a lot with Sony Vegas, but I found a render setting I really, really like, and a few things that I think are really important when it comes to rendering. So first off, I'm not really a expert of tutorials, but hopefully you can follow along if you have a Sony Vegas, or, I don't know, you're just curious for that matter. If you go to File, I'm sorry if anything here is in Norwegian, uh, it shouldn't be, but if it is, I'm sorry. And then you go down to Properties. Now, I usually have my project at uh, 1280 by 720 so that makes 720p on YouTube, and frame rate at 29.9730, uh, or j just 30 frames per second, as they say. So you can actually have them as you like, that's just how I do it. And you can just pretty much copy the stats here, make sure the pixel format is this, and just just basically copy the stats. I've copied this of another tutorial. But something else I found out is that this is not enough. Now let's see on the audio. This is just how the playback will be, so uh, that shouldn't really... None of this should matter, just the video right here. Okay, and then you click apply, and you can take start all new project with uh, these settings. But now... Just rendering the video now, what would happen? This video would be blurry. Why is that? Well, let's see. Well, I just put down a video. Okay, now I have a video going on here. But what's wrong with the video? Well, when you render it, it is going to be extremely blurry because of something called resampling. Now, if you right click and you go to switches, you can see down here it says smart resample. Now there are three options here, and what I found out, I don't know what resample is for, but to me it seems like it makes the video blurry and just really, really distasteful. It doesn't look good in my opinion, it gets blurry and fuzzy. So what I always do is that I go down and take disable resample on all of my video tracks, doesn't matter if it's video, text, picture. Now let's say I have some uh, Godfather up here, now something I just like to organize my, my tracks. Keep it OCD. So here you can see I have a few different tracks of video. Now I just want to make sure that I have them all selected. Right click and disable resample. So step one, make sure that um, resampling is disabled. And now over to the render settings. If we go here, uh, I like to render as WMV, uh, Windows Media Video V11. Uh, you can probably render, or just just follow my things. You can always experiment to find really, really cool stuff. And if you see my custom preset, you can see that I named it uh, Feb 12, 720p, 30fps, disable. Why did I name it this? Well, that's because Feb 12 is when I found this preset. It's 720p, it's 30fps. And I write disable in my um, render setting name, because each time I look at it, I'm going to be like, Oh, right, I gotta disable the resample, so it's kind of a little reminder for myself, but basically you can copy the stats that I have right here. As you can see, I don't have my audio on 320 uh, kilobyte per second, that is because lately I seem to have some audio glitches if I have it there, so I'm just playing it safe, it, it really isn't any, any different. Over to the video, perhaps the most important one. The mode is CBR2 pass, the format is Windows Media Video 9, it is uh, 1280 by 720 high definition, the pixel aspect ratio is 1 square, and the frame rate is 29.970 NTC. 25 seconds per keyframe, I don't know why this is all here, but it works. And I want to override default compression buffer by 10 seconds, I guess. And the video smoothness, well, what do you expect? What did you expect down here? Now the bitrate, I'm not really sure what the bitrate does, I just have it at 25M for megabyte per second. I don't know what it does, but I, I, I just have it. And this is if you want to write something. I, I actually never write anything here. Perhaps I should. Anyways, over to project. Make sure that the video rendering quality is set to best, because I mean... Why would you want to render a video in good or preview? You want the best possible quality you can get. So, these are the stats, and that's actually basically it. First off, make sure that your project is set up in the properties right here. Something along those lines. And then make sure that everything is disabled, the resample. And then you go to render, and you can pretty much just copy my, my render settings right here. And Windows Media V11. 
And another tip before rendering anything from Sony Vegas that I want to give you is that if I, uh, let's say I open up like a, uh, a brand new project, let's say um, Oblivion 15, give you a bit of spoiler, I don't care. Okay, so I just loaded up this project. Uh, what would happen if I now try to render this whole thingy, just like, oh, render, go. What would most likely happen, or what has happened to me, is that when I've been uh, recording with fraps and stuff like that, some files don't show up during the render, so when you finally put it on YouTube, then you notice, oh wait, here I have 20 minutes of nothing but audio, it's just black. So what I like to do before I actually render the video is, it can be a time-consuming process in certain projects, I don't want to give away too many spoilers, uh, let's take my uh, newest Amnesia episode, for example, if that would ever load. What I like to do is to go and check each clip and make sure that it actually plays right, that it shows up on the screen. So I basically go around to every video file, I uh, just leave them online. I've deleted a lot of my source files after a rendering because they take a lot of space. Oh, still have the main files. So, oh, this I shouldn't have loaded this project, take way too long. Ah, uh, cancel. Screw you. Screw you! Anyway, so what I would do here is that I would uh, press here and then start to put in the dark here and welcome to and some story made by horror. And I rarely see this and double check dead. Destroyed. I hope he's talking about the castle showing up. So I'm basically double checking that the video is working and when you're doing this, it could be good to switch to uh, preview mode half or even quarter. It's gonna look like crap, but it's just for the preview. It's not gonna affect the render in any way. And the uh, final thing I want to mention is that you uh, you have a lot of control in Sony Vegas, so uh, you better use this correctly. You better use the sound matching. Sound matching is vital. But, well, my name is Voices from the Dark. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you understood some of it. It has been a pleasure to do it. Hopefully that's going to help you in some way. And I will see you in the next episode of uh, whatever's on my channel. Hope it helps somebody out there. And have a still good day. Take care and stay awesome. Goodbye.